Look, if you don't eat artery-clogging junk food at the fair, you're not doing it right. Sure, there's plenty of normal theme park junk food, but on top of that, everything can be deep-fried or even just combined in a way that makes George Newman's kitchen look reasonable. Krispy Kreme ice cream chicken sandwich. That's a lot of things. Oh. Cotton candy ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Draft Beer Depot. Depot! Now this, this is the most magnificent castle in a Southern California amusement park. <laughs> Carmelot. There you go. Hey, Dolan! Dolan! It follows you. Everywhere I go. They keep assuring us that everything on the menu is totally fried. They want us to know they don't take any half measures on the frying. Like if you wanted a weird like combo between chicken and shrimp, frog legs is the, is the I, meat yeah, for you. Yeah, I like I like frog. Who are you and how long have you been working for Doc Hopper? I'm this country, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you got a diet, but the cup is made of sugar cane, so uh, you're still you're still drinking sugar. I know, I know. I made my peace with this. King Taco. That's a great place to get a taco. I would hope so, from the name. King of But I was also told there was a king of burgers, and that was a lie. I love how aggressive this pig is about like, yeah, you better be eating my brethren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we were only three people. Three rapidly aging people who among us have more than our fair share of dietary issues. So, of course, when it came time to actually eat, we barely scratched the surface of fair food offerings. But we did try a few things over the course of the day, and here they are. We started by embracing the stereotypes about us as both Californians and Millennials. Part of a condoms might actually be like a good start off because it's still yeah. vaguely healthy. <laughs> it's, there's still a healthy thing inside there. Yeah. Yeah. So we went with the fried avocados because we're Millennials to the core. And starting off healthy before we really get yeah. into some deep shit. Healthy-ish. Yeah. Theoretically healthy, yeah. They're very warm. Yeah. They are warm indeed. Cheers. Yeah. Try that again. Cheers. Cheers. It's a solid formula battery. 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 I think. Um, the avocado is nice and mushy. It's not, but it's like not been overtaken too much. Mm -hmm. It's a good balance, spiced well. I like avocado and I like fried stuff, so. So I approve. Then we moved on to honoring Haley's Southern heritage with some Louisiana cooking. Usually these days when we eat New Orleans food, we're waiting on a Haunted Mansion fast pass, but here we were just in the middle of a day where we saw lots of Haunted Mansion stuff. How splurgy do we want to get with this? How splurgy do you want to get with this? I feel like this is mine. Yeah, you, you, you call the shots here, Haley. Okay. So Haley, explain to the audience what we just ordered. Okay, so I found the like the one Cajun food stand in the LA County Fair, and we got some red beans and rice, mm -hmm. and we got catfish nuggets. Catfish nuggets. Nuggets. I need lemon. <laughs> I, I did get tartar sauce if anyone wants that in their life. Sweet pickles, so it's not my tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm very particular when it comes to Southern Valid, valid. Hashtag not my tartar sauce. Ha! Ha! Nugget time! Alright. It's always nugget time. It's nugget time. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Good nugget. Good catfish. Mm -hmm. The right fry. Oh, I get if you bear batter a, a catfish, I will ask you to leave. <laughs> it belongs in cornmeal. It belongs in a cornmeal. <laughs> well spiced too. Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now for the more daring option. <laughs> Red beans and rice and mista. Yep, I am gay. That certainly is that. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Grab. That looks like a whole piece of okra in there, too. Mm. And 
sausage. Yep. I am a happy camper right now. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And chicken. Oh, I am so happy right now. The LA Fair doesn't just celebrate LA, it celebrates everywhere in the country we come from. The item Allie was most intrigued by was rainbow grilled cheese, and it took us a while to hunt down, but someday we found it. Is it just food coloring or? I'm probably guessing it's just food is coloring. It... Is it like an American? Then they just like. They didn't just, they, they said, I'm guessing probably like American, maybe like some white mozzarella or something like that. Shall we go uh, sit down over by the fountain? Alrighty, so here is the rainbow grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do the colors taste like anything? Dye? Mm, sorry? <laughs> like dye? Yeah, sure. Do you want to take it in the soup? Since that's kind of the point of the food. That's probably the name here. That is food to be seen. More than tasted. <laughs> food should be seen and not heard. Oh, I always think food should be seen and not heard. Yeah. yeah. When they're heard, it's called me Spotty, and I don't have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like a decent grilled cheese. Not as good as that one we had that was made with garlic bread, but... Mm. So that's one of the grosser looking cheese stains, and that's actually a pretty high bar to clear. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Successful dinner -y. I'm happy. Finally, it was time for that most token of fair foods, deep fried desserts. From the far too many options of far too many brands dipped in far too much dough, we settled on trying that old staple deep fried Oreos and our dark horse candidate deep fried Nutella. So we are awaiting the Nutella. It's just a big old stick full of Nutella going in there. There we go. So we got Oreos, we got Nutella. What are we gonna try first? I think we have to do Nutella. Because they literally like had a Nutella popsicle. Oh wow. They like froze it beforehand so it would heat. Oh, that's nice. Froze it, then fried it. It works. <laughs> yeah, it's just fry and Nutella. Mm. It's just straight up not a fair until you've had a deep fried version of something that wasn't good for you to begin with. Yeah. It's already dead then. <laughs> just do it. Yep. Oreos. Do it. For the glory of YouTube. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Are you a visionary? She's disrupting the market. <laughs> mm. Okay, well first I'm trying it on its own, because I will eat literally anything with Oreo in it. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't made a Nutella Oreo either. If, if they haven't, it's gotta just be for licensing reasons. <laughs> like, they just couldn't come to an agreement. Chocolate hazelnut cream. Mm -hmm. With like a Biscoff kind of like butter cookie. Yeah, that's the, oh, that'd be so good. This is the most indulgent thing I've ever done on camera, and that is a high bar to clear. <laughs> Your fiance is a genius. I'm marrying a very smart woman. Yes, indeed you are, baby. And those are the foods we ate at the fair. All reasonably tasty, all overpriced, but all necessary for the complete fair experience. 
And now that we've done all the things expected from the typical fair, join us early next year as we begin to look at a more unique experience the LA County Fair was heavily promoting, the art. A fair is a veritable smarkest board, orcus board, orcus board after the gates are shut. Each night when the lights go out, it can be found on the ground all around. 